Hello, my lovelies. So um, today we are doing the faux crown braid. Um, I call it the faux crown because it is totally not a crown, but it looks like one. Um, yeah. So any hoodles, uh, what we're going to do is, um, well, I'm actually going to show you two hairstyles today, technically. Um, they both start the same. The endings are different. The first one is just a, like a jaunty little side bun, but the other is the full on faux crown. Um, we are using uh, a little bit of the Elizabethan hair taping technique, um, ribbon, to uh, hold our faux crown braid in place and make it pretty. Okay, so let's get started. Um, so you guys know how much I really hate the crown braid. I love the way it looks, but it's really a pain in the booty. Um, because my hair is just a little too long for it. Shorter hair, I think, would be a little easier. Um, so yeah. So anyway, the only thing you need to know how to do for this today's hairstyle is dust braid. Um, yeah. Because that's all we're doing. Really, technically, when this breaks down, this is just a dust braid. Uh, but you're going to start by pulling all your hair to one side. So whichever side you are the more comfortable uh, braiding on, um, think of it this way. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have done Dutch pigtails. That's basically what we're doing, only instead of separating our hair, we're using all of it in one pigtail on the side. Um, yeah. So anyway, so I'm going to go on the right because... I don't know, just because. Because <laughs> that's the way my brain likes it. So, any hoodles, um, you get everything kind of smooth to the side, like we're in an 80s music video. Um, we're gonna start, and we're just gonna Dutch braid. That's it. Just Dutch braid. Easy peasy, pudding pie. Um, or pumpkin pie, but I like pudding pie. So, any hoodles. Yes. So yes, we're just going to Dutch braid um, and just regular old Dutch, no fancy lace, um, no foo -fra at all, just a Dutch braid, nice and easy. So um, if you need to learn how to Dutch braid, I have a video on that. Uh, and if I were really nice, I would probably put an annotation, a linky in here for you. Um, but I'm not nice. No, I'm lying. Okay. Um, annotation. That's how you Dutch braid. So any hoodles. Yes. So that's what we're doing. We are Dutch braiding down one side of our head, whichever side you prefer. So to save time, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll be right back. Ha! So we are down to this far. Um, the point at which you will throw your braid over your shoulder and continue braiding. Instead of putting it over the same side that you are braiding, flip it over the opposite shoulder. So that means I am going to flip mine over to the left hand side to continue braiding. And this is the point where you want to pull tight. Um, I know some of you guys are like, eh, but seriously, pull it tight. At least this part. Because <laughs> we need it to have a little bit of a curve happening to uh, complete our hairstyles. So, like I said, we're gonna have two possible outcomes for this. Um, the first outcome is we are going to put a little bun on this side, the side that we have decided to complete our braiding on. Um, and it turns out really, really super cute. Uh, there is a trend for side buns. Um, and even if there's not a trend, it is romantic and pretty and a little different instead of just, you know, your librarian bud right on the back of your head. So, yes. So here we go, finish the braid. la di ta da And um, yeah, so for the first one, all you need is a few pins. Um, I did this side braided bunted thing um, last month sometime and dressed it all up in goo as I do. Um, because I love Google Uh, and I have some pictures of that. So here, let me tie off. And, uh, yeah, so I'll show you how to go about doing this and then I will flash some pictures up 
of it all blinged out because, you know, that is the way it is. Um, incidentally, you could leave it like this. Let me see how the braiding looks. Ah, good. You can just leave it like this if you want and wear it out. Uh, side braids are popular. But um, yeah, so you just want to bun on this side. Like so. Just, you know, a side bun. Not rocket science. Um, I'm just gonna use a couple sticks real quick so I can take it down and we can do the other. Um, yeah. But any hoodle, so yeah. Side bun! And here are pictures of it all blinged out and happiness. enjoyed those. Um, any hoodles. <laughs> so let's take this down and what we're gonna do, you might need your mirror for this part so you can have a look. See, make it look as even as you can. Um, we are going to make this look like a crown braid by wrapping this part up and around and hopefully tucking this up so we don't see it as badly, which we can when we sew in. I'm just gonna check to make sure mine is mostly round. Mostly round. Okay, so, um, as we do with the Elizabethan hair taping, I'll worry about that tail end when I get to it, um, we are going to clip this braid in place. And look, I just broke another tooth. I'm telling you, these little clips, they need to make them out of adamantium. Somebody needs to get on that. Um, I'm just saying, Wolverine hair clips would rock. Um, any hoodles? Yeah, I think I can tuck that. Tuck, tuck, tuck. That is the hardest part, is getting your tail to hide up under there. But I think we got it. All right. Now, to ribbon, um, remember what I told you, one, two lengths, um, at least that's what works for me. You might need less, but you can always trim it more later if you need to, and you want to thread. Yay. Um, I'm going to have my bow just be in the back. So, I will thread, where's the end of the needle, there we go, pull this up pull this all the way through because I need a tail which I will flop up in the front and then we're gonna sew this braid down um, yeah because as you know that holds a lot better than any pinage you could possibly do um, and not only that you know not only will it really help with the pinage um, it also sorely helps with the fact that it's way more comfortable. Oh, there we go. It's way more comfortable than a million pins in your head. Um, trust me on that. Okay. So any hoodles, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sew this in. <laughs> Easy peasy. Um, yeah. You just wanna go roundy roundies. I know, I'm on the side that you can't see, which is, I'm sure is very annoying to you. Um, any hoodles, yeah. So anyways, I'm just gonna sew around, make sure I get all my tail tucked in there. See, like that. Okay, I'm gonna sew all the way around and then I'll come back to show you the end. Hello again. Fancy meeting you here. Anyways, here we are, all sewn around. Ta-da! So you have your two pieces left. Now is the time where you pull. Um, that way you can make it tighter if you feel that it needs to be tighter. Um, but that seems to work for me. And then put it on a bow. Like I said, this is pretty easy. Let's see how even it looks. <laughs> 
Um, actually, that is pretty good. Um, usually, I have a weird little point happening at the bottom, but I don't this time. Ta-da! Now, yes, I realize this does not have the really cool center with everything going out like a crown braid looks if somebody does it for you because mine never look like that. However, it still looks nice and neat in the middle. And I think it's really pretty and it's up and the sucker's not moving. And the other cool thing about doing it this way is the front looks pretty sweet because you have like a little part happening. I don't know. I think it looks pretty sweet. Um, any poodles. <laughs> okay, now, since we are at the end of the vid, and this shouldn't have been as long as some of my others, and YouTube has seen fit to allow me to do like 15 minutes, um, I'm here to give you a few tips as far as like taping goes. Um, I know some of you guys have lamented the fact that your hair wasn't quite long enough to do a full on Elizabethan hair taping. Now, I did that video years ago, um, before I knew as much about hair and hairstyles as I do now. So I'm here to give you a couple tips. If your hair isn't quite long enough to do it my original video way, which is, you know, the ponytail and then braid it in around, um, don't do the pony first. Um, you can try by doing just two French braids or Dutch braids um, and then wrapping them around each other. I mean, it might not be, you know, hugely around your head. It'll probably look a little more like this, situated towards the back of your head but as you see, it's still really pretty. Um, so that might be one way, or you don't even have to French it at all. You could just do Pocahontas braids and then wrap them around and tape them down. Um, and if your hair is still too short, then um, you can either do the two French braids and just nearly wrap them up this way and then sew in. So you have like a little horseshoe keeping the luck in, also pretty. Or you could do milk make braids and sew them down. You know, two braids wrapped over top of your head and then you can just sew them down. Um, any of those hairstyles, any of these that are sewn in are excellent for lots of activity. Um, as in, I'm running today. I have karate class today. I have gymnastics today. Or I don't want to have to do my hair for three days. Whichever of those things. These, these taped, these sewn in styles are the best thing ever. Um, and they're really comfortable and it disperses the weight of your hair so you don't get all headachy and well, and everybody comments on them when you're out in public because they think it's like magic. And they always ask if I did my hair myself. I could not afford to go get my hair done every day. I don't think you guys could either. Um, any hoodles, there you go. There are a couple extra tips for those of you that have been lamenting the fact that you couldn't tape. Um, and I'm sure there's lots of other things you could think of too. I mean, all you need is a knitting needle and some ribbon and I'm sure you can find all kinds of weird ways to sew your hair to your head. Um, <laughs> and if you do, by all means, send me links to pictures, people. I love pictures. Okay, so that's all for today. Um, I'm gonna go get my friend Cindy from the airport. So fun, we're gonna have so much fun. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>